Hey folks, how are we doing? So I figure, you know what, I haven't done a chopping video in a while and I want to make a video. Look at it, it actually came out on its own, nice. And I didn't show a work of my, you know, footage of my hawks in a while. I did only a little one and just coincidentally yesterday somebody called me out like Oh, it looks like a, it doesn't work really, it's more of a zombie, you know, and I don't make these BS tools like, you know, sci-fi uh, movie things, you know, fictional tools that, you know, you, you think you're a soldier, you think you're fighting a zombie and shit. I do tools for actual use outdoors, so there's everything from, from ergonomics to design to sharpness, grind, everything is designed to work really well outside. None of this is that, you know, make believe, just I say it is like it, like uh, a lot of, lot of makers do that nowadays, I notice. A lot of, lot of sales and a lot of companies are based on the you know what they tell you because you know I'm a soldier so my knives are good my knives are for soldiers don't believe that you know it's all it's all just marketing when I some of you that are with me for a while you guys know my knife cherry I love this, this is really excellent tool here for Florida you see that <laughs> just no effort whatsoever I love this and actually you know what I've used this a lot already and it's still paper slicing sharp you know so pretty good you know like I like I thought before the S7 you say you know there's like kind of like a common common knowledge that it doesn't hold the edge really well but in the choppers you know you chopping the chopping is a such a task that you don't have the abrasive forces on the on the edge so you don't actually do the knife as long as you don't hit something in the wood that would actually bend or roll the edge you're not really dueling the knife so it will stay sharp very very long in the regular chopping because you're not doing the abrasive like slicing motion when you're cutting that's what actually does the edge often when you're chopping you're actually just splitting the material with the force kinetic force and it doesn't really you know do the knife so much so that's that's enough of the knife cherry uh, main thing is, you've seen the knife cherry a lot. Main thing I want to show you the hawks. Now these hawks, some of you guys are bummed out that I just went with the tape. For now, that's that's what it is. I think that it will be just a lot of work to do with the regular handle because of the taper tank. And as a tool, me personally, I'm super happy with it. I don't need nothing more than this tape. So look at it. What is it? That's the stuff that uh, I used. To, I went through on one hit with the uh, knife cherry. That's pretty solid. Let's see this bigger stuff here on the ground. This was a fallen branch from a pine. right through the nut with an unsupported edge phenomenon just destroying the nut yep <laughs> nice Get that bite. And let's see a spike, the splitting action of the spike. See it? The spike is devastating. <laughs> Late. I like this, you know what? I think it's an excellent hook. Nice and lean grind. Sharp, good penetration, good strong spike. All you would ever need in a in a small little hatchet hook style tool. 
I can actually choke up on it. Just to do some regular cutting. Now talking about feather sticks with the hawk. But it has still a bark on it. I like it, you know. I honestly, I, I would put this against any other hawk in its weight category and kind of length, length as to if we've chopped with a lot of other hawks. And uh, trust me, those hawks are they are like those, a lot of the hawks are the fantasy tools, you know, to you know, escape and evade and entry tools and stuff like that. Not really for what you would use it for, go out camping, use it as a small hatchet, just have fun with it, the drawing. So, actually that's why I left the spike here. You can stick these hogs even with the spike on the bottom of the handle. Plus, you know, you can break stuff with it on the bottom, which is, that's the intended use. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.